Make-A-Wish Foundation made a dream come true for a teenager from Chicago Ridge. But yesterday, someone stole that dream. WGN's Megan Dwyer has that story. We're actually talking about a pickup truck that was stolen from this parking lot yesterday morning. Unfortunately, it had only been driven about a dozen times before it was taken. The owner tonight telling whoever took it, you must understand this was much more than just a truck. I just feel like he's been through so much. He needs a break, you know. Long before he was even old enough to drive, Jacob Watson and his grandfather loved trucks. After his grandfather passed away in 2015, he left his old Ford to his grandson, and then Jacob started having headaches. He was diagnosed with a rare blood disease. Brain surgery and grueling chemotherapy would soon follow. He was sick, he was scared. And this is what made him feel good to get this wish. To lift his spirits, the Make-A-Wish Foundation worked tirelessly, transforming his grandfather's old pickup into exactly how Jake wanted it. It took nearly two years to finish during the pandemic. And then Sunday morning, someone stole it from the parking lot at Wintrust Sports Arena in Bedford Park during a volleyball game. Some people, the vehicles are just pieces of metal and stuff. But to me, it's it's more than metal. It's it's a part of me. It's a part of my family. Surveillance video shows someone in a gray minivan with tinted windows pull up. Someone got out, did something to the bottom of his truck, and then hopped inside and drove away. I don't even care what happens to them. I just want my stuff back. Leave it on the side of the road somewhere. Let someone find it. Let me get it back. Like, that's all. His friends and family are now looking everywhere to find the truck. Bedford Park Police are investigating. I don't even know how to help him. I want to help him, and I hate that he's crying. And he hurts. And I said, Jake, good people will get good things in the end. What happened to you? Unfortunately, Jake only had liability insurance, so right now he's left without a vehicle to drive at all. Reporting tonight in Bedford Park, Megan Dwyer, WGN News.